Hello everyone, I'm Alicia here and welcome to another video. Today's going to be a fun one. I'm really excited to share with you the putting together of a new palette. I'm going to be giving the Renaissance intense watercolors another try today. I made a video about this brand in the past. If you'd like to check that out, I will leave a link to it in the card as well as in the description. And in that video, I had selected a palette of I think 10 or so colors and I really enjoyed working with them. I had some concerns but overall it was fun to get to try a new brand of paints and after that project Renaissance reached out to me and asked if I was interested in receiving like a package of supplies from them. I didn't know what that entailed or what all would be in that package and the majority of what I found was this, all of these watercolors. I believe this is all or pretty much all of the colors in their line. I think I only had one duplicate from the colors I already had. So I thought it would be fun to try some mostly new colors from what I tried in the past. Try setting up a custom palette in this porcelain palette. I absolutely love porcelain palettes and see what I think of them with a different variation of colors. As these colors dried in the palette, some of them spread completely flat and filled the whole well, and some of them the consistency was a bit thicker, so they stayed closer to where I put them. You can see all of the individual color names and pigment numbers as I'm swatching the colors, and I will also list them all in the description as well. I'm really pleased with the range of colors that I selected for this palette. I tried to go with some standards, but also some colors that I thought were unique to the brand or that I liked this brand's version, like the ultramarine violet, I think is a really interesting hue. I really like the mineral violet and the Prussian green and cobalt turquoise. I think those are all really interesting colors. And I think my interest in some of those individual colors is my favorite thing about this particular brand of paints. And if you're looking to supplement a pre-existing palette or try a few new individual colors, I think there are some really fascinating options here. Renaissance also sent me a few half pans of dried paint that I want to try out 
And when I made my last video, there were some people who had said that they actually prefer their dried half pans to drying their tube paints in pans or in wells like I've done here. So I'm excited to give those a try before formulating like my full complete thoughts on the brand as a whole. So at this point, how I'm feeling is that, like I said, there are a few individual colors that I really, really like. I also like the Naples Yellow Pale, which is the leftmost color that you can see there at the top of the palette. And while I do really like a few of the individual colors, the palette overall doesn't really give the vibrancy and saturation of something that I would want for my daily, like everyday use palette. But I would absolutely use some of these colors to supplement like a custom palette, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing with the porcelain palette that I have here, which I will also link in the description. I love this palette. It's half the size of another porcelain palette that I have, and I really prefer this size. It's much more usable for like getting out every day. I like the size a lot and working and mixing on porcelain is just such a lovely experience. It cleans up perfectly every time. There's never any staining and the way that the colors sit on the palette is just so satisfying and pleasing. And in my experience, it's also really easy to peel dried watercolor out of porcelain palette. So if I decide that I want to move some of the paints from this brand somewhere else and just build a custom palette with a variety of brands, which I'm probably going to do and I'm actually really excited to try, um, I will be able to just move those Renaissance colors to a different location and use this paint for more of a custom palette that crosses several brands. And I think that that will ultimately give me something that I feel more satisfied with using like on a daily basis. So, so far I think the Renaissance colors are really fun and there are some combinations that I really love like the Conacridone Red and the Naples Yellow Pale. I really love those two together. So there are some fun, unique things to experience with this brand. It's just not going to be like my new daily favorite. This piece was actually painted on Renaissance hot press watercolor paper. It's in a sketchbook that they sent me as well. And so far I'm really, really loving this paper. I'd like to do a comparison for you soon, comparing their hot press paper to their cold press paper. I think that could be really fun. And this painting will be featured as the mini print for my patrons for the month of June. So it's too late to sign up to get one of these now, but patrons who are already signed up at the mini frontier we'll be getting this one this month i'd love to hear about your experience with renaissance watercolors or what colors you would put in a custom palette like this i believe that this palette holds 17 colors so i'm excited to play around with it and make some adjustments switch out some colors setting up new palettes and trying different combinations of colors is always so much fun As always, a huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon and my members here on YouTube. You're welcome to check out either of those platforms if you would like to support me and this channel further. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.